Welcome to Certified Training Solutions free webinar. The topic today is how to become a specimen collector for Department of Transportation drug testing. I'm Lisa Bradley. This webinar was recorded September 27, 2018. We are often asked, what does it take to become a specimen collector for DOT drug testing? Becoming a professional specimen collector, one that is qualified to perform DOT collections, is not difficult. However, there are steps that should be followed, and the Department of Transportation lists very specific training requirements to become a qualified collector. What sort of background is needed to become a specimen collector for DOT drug testing? The Department of Transportation rules do not require professional specimen collectors to have any specific background or education prior to being trained as a specimen collector. However, although no medical background is required either, persons with an additional certification in the healthcare field are typically at an advantage when seeking employment as a specimen collector. The reason for this is due to the fact that the employer, most often a clinic or healthcare facility, can utilize the employee's other healthcare skills when he or she is not performing specimen collections, such as x ray technicians, phlebotomists, and medical assistants. Are you thinking of starting your own drug testing business? Rather than working for someone else, after completing the required training, you may decide to open your own drug testing business or sell your services to companies. Now let's talk about what are the training requirements to be a collector for DOT drug testing. The DOT rules for drug testing are found in the Code of Federal Regulations, specifically 49 CFR Part 40. The DOT has also published a number of documents to help the collector in ensuring that they are properly trained. You may find the DOT publication, How Can I Become a Collector for DOT Drug Testing, on the web at the address you see on this screen. The DOT rules do not require a specimen collector to be certified per se. However, many companies offer a certification upon completion of a training program. The DOT calls the training qualification training rather than certification training. DOT required qualification training must teach the collector the Part 40 rules relating to collection procedures. The specific steps in properly completing the collection process and in completing the Federal Custody and Control Form, or CCF. Specific training on how to properly handle problem collections. Training on how to handle errors, called flaws, in the collection process. And detailed information on the professional collector's responsibilities under the Federal regulations in the DOT drug testing process. Once the collector student has completed the qualification training, he or she must then complete a proficiency demonstration with a qualified monitor or trainer. The proficiency demonstration consists of five specific error-free mock collections which must be documented. The mock collections should be fully acted out, including completion of the paperwork and processing of the specimen, as if the collector is conducting real collections on a real employee. Once fully trained, the collector is typically good to go for five years. The regulations require that collectors repeat their training every five years. Can anyone make a good specimen collector? As mentioned, there are no requirements in the federal regulations for who can become a specimen collector for DOT drug testing. However, there are a number of personality traits that may help the collector in succeeding in this field of work. First, the collector should be a person of integrity. Performing collections for DOT safety-sensitive employees is serious business. The safety of hundreds or perhaps thousands of people may be at risk if the collector does not perform a DOT collection properly and thereby allows a drug user to beat the test. Cutting corners should never be considered in the DOT drug testing process. The collector should take his or her job of ensuring the integrity of the collection process and the specimen very seriously. The collector should not be a person at risk of bad judgment calls, such as willing to take a bribe from an employee to assist the employee in beating the test. Second, the collector should be detail-oriented. 
There are many steps in the DOT collection process, and all steps must be followed in a specific sequence. Failure to complete a single step may cause serious problems in the collection process. Next, the collector should have a passion for safety and for following rules and regulations. If you are a person that likes to blaze your own trail and find your own way of doing things, DOT collections may not be for you. Specimen collectors are bound to a very strict order and process of collecting and handling specimens. If you enjoy consistency and following a process the same way every time, you may enjoy performing specimen collections for DOT drug testing, and you may be very good at it. Finally, the collector should enjoy working with people, but also be willing to exert authority when needed. Specimen collectors meet lots of people face-to-face -face every day and work with them very closely. You should enjoy this personal contact, especially since the collector may be the only person the donor actually meets face-to-face -face in the entire drug testing process. Most collections go smoothly, but you should be thick-skinned enough to handle those that do not. The collector is charged with handling difficult collection situations when they arise. This may include confronting hostile and abusive donors, donors attempting to beat a drug test, and uncooperative employees. We are sometimes asked if there are risks associated with being a specimen collector for DOT drug testing. Acting as a specimen collector has its own occupational hazards like any other job. However, there are additional risks to being a specimen collector, such as the possibility of legal action against you, for example, by an employee or donor, and the possibility of enforcement action against you by the DOT or a DOT agency if you do things wrong in the collection process, such as not following the DOT rules and procedures, missing steps, making mistakes, and so on. Becoming a specimen collector for DOT drug testing can be a rewarding profession. However, it also comes with its frustrations and risks. Getting into the profession is relatively simple. Get the necessary training. Certified Training Solutions Specimen Collector Training Course can help you take the first steps in obtaining the most thorough professional training available in the industry. More details on how to become a specimen collector for DOT drug testing may be found on our website at the address on the screen, www.certifiedtrainingsolutions.com. As always, we are happy to assist with your questions. And please see our popular newsletter articles, including this one, on our newsletter page. You may also reach us at 307 640 5859 or toll free at 888 684 1658. The information in this webinar is also available as an article on our newsletter page. The link to our newsletter page is in the description of this video. Thank you for viewing this recorded webinar. We hope you have found this information valuable and that you enjoyed it. Certified Training Solutions is always happy to assist customers with their training needs. Please visit our website at www.certifiedtrainingsolutions.com or call us at 307 640 5859 or email admin at certifiedtrainingsolutions.com. We offer a variety of online training courses including breath alcohol technician training, DOT specimen collector instructor training, screening test technician and STT instructor training, designated employer representative training, supervisor reasonable suspicion training, post-accident determination training, drug-free workplace training, and more. We also sell a variety of discount drug and alcohol testing supplies, including DOT-approved evidential breath testers and screening devices.